Hello, I'm Jeff Lindsay. I've been asked to comment on the English pronunciation of the boy band BTS, who are so successful and influential that they've performed at the United Nations and were at the White House this week to discuss anti-Asian hate crime. BTS have had hits not only in Korean, but also in Japanese and English, which is a pretty impressive feat on top of all the singing and dancing, especially when only one of them, RM, uh, can speak English well, and he speaks it extremely well. And it is a great honor to be invited to the White House today to discuss the important issues of anti-Asian hate crimes, Asian inclusion, and diversity. So I've been watching their English language videos, and overall I have to say they do a fantastic job. The English songs are mainly by British writers, including Ed Sheeran, and I have to say the writers don't seem to have made the lyrics particularly easy for Koreans to sing. Um, of course, the band aren't aiming at British English. They began, I believe, in hip-hop, uh, which has its roots, like most popular music styles in the English-speaking world, in African-American culture. And it's because of that, not British English, that they have features like R-dropping. Smooth like butter, like criminal undercover. And sometimes pronouncing final T as a glottal stop. So to me, bring the fire, set the night alight. So let's look at some clips that maybe highlight some interesting differences between most kinds of English and Korean. Um, let's go back to the song Idol, which was in Korean and English. Okay, the, the line here is, you can't stop me loving myself, or you can't stop me loving myself. But if you look closely, Jimin is singing, you can't stop me loving myself, with a B. You can't stop me loving myself. Korean has all kinds of fascinating things that English doesn't have, like um, uh, aspirated S, as in Samsung. But there are English sounds that Korean doesn't have, including V. And this is a bit ironic because one of the band's members uh, is actually called V. But in Korean, that's Bri. 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 Now, Jimin does this same thing in the song Dynamite. The words are disco overload, but again, it comes out as overload with a B. V himself does a pretty good job of pronouncing his own stage name. This is from Permission to Dance, the one that Ed Sheeran co-wrote. Which brings up another difference between um, English and Korean in the sound W. English W is rounded like this, w -w, whereas Korean W isn't. Um, here is V uh, doing a very good a rounded English W. But after a consonant, it's harder to do. And this song, Permission to Dance, repeatedly has the words like where. And very often, the English rounded W just isn't there. Let's um, stick with Permission to Dance, performed at the United Nations. So a potentially tricky English contrast is between the sounds R and L, uh, and Korean doesn't have that contrast like Japanese. Um, the line here is, because there's no looking back. And to my ear, it sounds more like no rooking back with an R. I guess it's a good job that um, Jimin didn't do this in Idol, because that would have turned lubbing into rubbing. It's not just that an L can appear more like an R, the opposite can happen. So let's go back to Idol. Running, 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 running. 
Now the soundtrack here is Running Man, Running Man, Running Man, but look at what V's tongue is doing. Admittedly while throwing himself around at high speed, I think what he's articulating is Running Man, Running Man. So far I've only been looking at um, consonants, so let's look at a couple of vowels. Um, here is butter. So English speakers make this famous or notorious contrast between the vowels of live and leave, this and these, chip and cheap. And in this song we've got the phrase talk is cheap, but to my English speaking ears it sounds more like talk is chip. These two vowels are often described as short i and long i, but um, especially in singing you can't rely on length at all to make the difference between them. So um, maybe it would be worth coaching Jin and Jimin just a little bit on squeezing that cheap vowel a bit more. It's so sweet. After all, they're such public figures these days that they might end up singing about peace on earth, and you don't want that to sound like well, you know what I mean. But they're doing amazingly well. Uh, I'm not going to start rapping in Korean anytime soon, am I? Mostly the boys sound just a little bit less distinct than, say, a native like Ed Sheeran. And I guess um, special gold stars should go to J-Hope and Jungkook, whose English caught my attention the least. Um, I've tried to point out interesting differences between English and the amazing Korean language. Um, if you think I've missed something out or have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. And until next time, take care.